I'm Jo Frost, and it's true, I'm back. And I'm traveling across America helping families who desperately need my help. I've been in the parental arena for three decades, and the advice and techniques that I give to families come from experience. It's going to be hard work, but it's always worth it. Today, I'm in Phoenix City, Alabama, to help the Corey family. They are struggling to manage all four of their children. <coughs> You've got to stop doing that. Go put a pull up and shoes on right now. <coughs> Mum and Dad are high school sweethearts. They've been married for eight years. Maria is a stay-at-home mum, and Ben is a military medic, which means his work takes him away for months on end. I'm hoping to help this family with their challenges. I'm Ben. I'm Maria. And, and we're, we're the Corys. We have four beautiful daughters. Lily is seven. She helps me with everything and anything. Blakely is the princess of the family. She gets away with anything she wants. <laughs> Henley will destroy everything in sight. My two-year-old took a pen to it. She is the most sour thing you will ever meet in your life. <laughs> Taylor, she's our last baby. So I'm trying to soak in every second of babyhood I can get. I love being a mom. Mommy. But having four little girls is chaos. There's constantly screaming, there's fighting, there's food being thrown. You let a lot of things slide. Stand up and clean up now. I want to get it. Come on. I don't take crap from the kids. Hey! OK. Chill out. I said clean the playroom. If you play, you're getting a spanking. Ben is a medic in the Army, so he is gone for months at a time. I'm never around to help Maria out. OK, seriously, stop. I am at my breaking point. Stop crying. I feel like I'm parenting all alone. Wait. Bye. No, I'm leaving. No, no. Close the gate. I just wish you didn't have to leave so much. Today is my observation day but then for the following days, I'll be in the trenches with this military family helping them. I have no idea what's in store today. I am so nervous about Joe coming. I don't know if she's gonna like criticize my parenting. Of course she is. It's the whole reason this is happening. Are you criticizing my parenting? Guys, come on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> How are you? I'm Come on shaking. in. Can I come in? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my Say God. Hi. Pleasure oh, to meet you. <laughs> Joe. Ben. Lily. Lily. Pleased to meet you. Blakely. Oh, you know your name. And Tanley. Pleased to meet you. They're all speechless. The cat's got their tongue. <laughs> One, two, three. I know there's four. One's sleeping. Well, I know you're excited that I'm here. I know, I know. But it's really about just show me what you do in your normal day. Because I'm here to watch, I'm here to observe. I am alone so much with these kids because his career is so demanding. I know there's a lot of military wives who have the exact same problems that I do. And I just need help on like how to handle these kids. So this is one thing, it. this is one thing where I struggle. I never know if I should give her naps. What do you normally do? Most of the time, it's, just like, it's almost like if I need a break, but then I know that night I'm not going to get sleep. Right. So putting Tenley down for a sleep is not based on whether she needs it. It's based on whether you need the break. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Truthfully. Yeah. She acts way worse when she doesn't get a nap. So my, my thought on it, stand up, honey. She so just, do you never do it? I'm, I'm never around for it. So but when you are? Me. What about on the weekend if you're I, around? Honestly, you're back. Think, do you do it? When I'm here, I... I'm getting, always, do you see what I'm getting there? You have no you? idea, I'm getting this. <laughs> I'm, you're like, mm-hmm, and, um, and, and your wife over there is looking at me going, no, well, she's no, taking no, two naps. he doesn't, he does? 
No. <laughs> but Did you see know the way what? she said that? She yeah. felt really guilty because she felt like she was throwing you under the bus there. No, Truth. It's... Does Ben put the children to bed? No. All right. No, that's the <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, Ben. Yeah. I like her already. Sound like Blake Lee's trying to hold the phone. What, what? Hey, why are you whining right now? Stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, stop. Sit here. Really? Are you gonna throw a temper tantrum? Are you gonna throw a temper tantrum right now? I'll bend you over the bench and spank you. Do you want a spanking? Then you better stop. You're not gonna throw a temper tantrum over a phone. I don't condone spanking. I think it's an outdated practice and it's totally not effective. What I'm into is making sure that I can teach parents to build relationships with their children and nurture. I'm trying not to get to that point, but when she's just constantly, blatantly telling me no. But even though you do it, even though you spank, do you feel good doing it? No. Has it made the children really efficient with tidying their room? Has it taught them how to share together? Think... Has it taught them to respect and to listen no. to you and follow through? No. Has it, has it taught them any of that? No. I come from a family where we got spanked all the time for being bad and like, I just kind of figured that was how you raise kids. You're gonna. Whee! So when they don't listen, what do you do? Time out is a big thing. I Time out. I'll like stick them in the corner and honestly, it doesn't even phase them. I don't... So you've got one parent who spanks and then the other one who just yourself yells and repeats. Yeah, and then, so that's what, they don't listen to me at all. I mean, like, I was never spanked as a kid, whereas he was very bad. I just, I don't, I don't like to. Corporal punishment will never fix anything. And what it is doing is breaking spirits. If it's just doing what he's been taught. For me, this is really about helping this family break the cycle. And we won't have young children raised to think that the only way a child can listen to you is if you give them a firm hand. Okay, please don't yell in the house, okay? Hey, I just asked you to stop yelling in the house. What does a week kind of look like for you? I don't get a break. I'm with the kids constantly, so it's very hard to meet people just in this community. Why? Why do you think that is? Because it's not like I can go like meet for lunch or go meet for coffee, because I have chaos everywhere I go. I had one really good friend who had a daughter Lily's age, but she moved away. So you, you get angry because you're feeling what you should be able to have you can't have, is that correct? I think just an hour a week. Can you stop yelling? I'll let you go upstairs, I'm gonna chat to Lily. Okay. I do think it's really important for parents to carve out time for self-care, because after all, if they don't look after themselves, then really the whole family suffer too. So, what kind of things do you do as a big sister to help your mum? I watch the baby and play with her while she cleans. You like mummy's helper? Mm hmm Do you like doing it? Not really. And do you spend time with mummy, doing things just with mummy? Not really. No? Is that something you would like to do? What would you do with no little running siblings around? No sisters running around, running around. What would you do? Maybe just sit around and talk. Ah, so just having mummy's time.
<laughs> Yay! I'm very glad you're here. And um, after Lily, I just, I spent so much of my time crying, hating who I was. Did you feel guilty for feeling so resentful? Absolutely. You know, you've just had this beautiful baby girl, yeah. your mother for the first time. It was a rough situation, but I loved being a mom. Right, okay. So then uh, we got pregnant with Blakely, and she was about six weeks old. And there, I didn't want to be alive. I would bring it up to my doctors, and they were like, you are showing a lot of signs of postpartum. Did you have it with Lily? And I was like, they didn't tell me I did. And do you get panic attacks? Yes. There are some days where I can't even get off the couch. I'll just sit there and watch the kids play and stuff. Um, I got on a pill called Zoloft. It helped me a lot, but I actually do want to get off. I almost like try to put on a facade that everything's great because his work doesn't allow him to just, oh, I need to go home. My wife's struggling with the kids. Like, that's not an option. Ben, come with me. What are the issues that you feel I need to help your family with? We just need help getting our kids in line, I guess. You know what? Tell me what postpartum depression is. Kind of like an anxiety slash depression. A woman's hormones are all just out of whack after having a baby, like, but she's handling it and she's being seen by a, by a doctor and she's taking the meds she needs and she's pretty well balanced. How does that concern you when I think you're away? The biggest word I can use for like when I'm away is just helpless. Like I can't bring her back down from feeling the way she's feeling. So I've definitely like I've had to be blunt and straightforward oh, wow. sometimes when I know she's having a, a rough time. I think it was more And do what? Just when you say blunt just, and just, just blunt straight to the point. Like are like, you like are you are you gonna do something crazy? And she's like, no absolutely not. Maria is clearly struggling with postpartum depression, and it's absolutely vital that I put steps in place to not only support Maria, but her entire family too. Why do you make me have to raise my voice? So I finished my observation and I'm actually tonight going to sit down with the Corey family and have a consultation with them. Dad has chosen to use spanking as a form of discipline and also, you know, having Maria with postpartum depression. They need help, but it's time to get real. Conversation needs to be had. It's bedtime. There's silence upstairs. The children are sleeping. Cheers. <laughs> and we get a chance to have this conversation. I first want to acknowledge that you are both dealing with postpartum depression. But I want to talk about how you move forward to overcome. This is about the two of you. Today, it wasn't about the children's behaviour being naughty. It's about them needing to have direction, needing to be guided, needing to be taught. Lily tells me that she doesn't get time. She doesn't get time with you, Mum. She doesn't get time to sit down and have just a chat. Lily gave me the whole story of having to be Mummy's helper and not, Mummy, can I just be Lily? I just want sometimes just time with you. Yeah, and it's heartbreaking to hear you say that about Lily, because, oh my god. Because I feel like Lily and I have a very good relationship. And I don't see from you, Ben, an active role in actually, when you're home, taking care of the kids. If you know that it's been tough, why are you not saying, I got this, it's all good, I got the kids tonight, I'm doing it, why? There's not enough of that, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong, Maria? Does Ben do enough with the kids? As far as bedtime, no, but like... Enough of the responsibilities in childcare, really? Really? Why is it really difficult for you both to be honest with each other? You need to be a team. There's no team here. 
I don't want to sit here and have a conversation about our relationship. It's about our relationship with our kids. Are you maybe, kidding me, Ben? No, Are you just, kidding me? I don't me? want it to be painted as we have a bad relationship because that's absolutely not correct. I'm here right now because my wife needs a little extra support raising our kids. And right now I kind of feel like it's being directed on the relationship I have with my wife, which is, which is not an issue. Stop for a minute, you've touched a nerve. <laughs> I don't feel good about myself. And that's like one of my biggest things. This is what has like been amplified a hundredfold. Just the postpartum, I think that's the biggest thing she's struggled with is just the self image. I, I don't know, I just, I feel like I don't deserve this life that I have. I feel like it's like just too good. <laughs> Certainly there's much you can do to be able to alleviate that anxiety, those panic attacks. I talk from experience myself, but you've got to look at your lives and say to yourselves as a couple, what are we doing that support the mental health of our family? Your relationship with your wife has an impact in the way that you both raise your children together. So it's not about me holding up a flag and going, bang, bang, negative relationship. It's about what you do to work on your relationship. Can you see where you go wrong with that? I, I can appreciate that, honestly. You both have opposing views on how to discipline the children with respect to spanking doesn't teach them anything. You have to recognise that spanking disconnects yourself from your children. Yes. So how much commitment do I have from the pair of you? Because I don't do try. We either do it or we don't. Game on. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm asking the pair of you to do it. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, I'm down, I'm all in. Get some sleep knock out what you need to knock out, and then I'll see you tomorrow morning. Joe is definitely very direct. I really agreed with pretty much everything she said. Like us getting on the same page, that seems like a no-brainer. Pleasure, thank, thank you. you. Thank Pleasure. you. Pleasure, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. This is my first teach day with the Corey family, and there's much work to be done. Lots to crack on there. It's not Nanny Joe turns up in the house and sprinkles some dust and everything's great. You know, this ain't no Mary Poppins. It's hard work. I hope that I have two committed parents who are muscled up some energy today. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm exhausted. <laughs> They've been asking yeah. for you all morning. And exhausted, good, ready to go, exhausted, or exhausted, can I just take a nap? Can I check in, check in. Can I just take a nap? I am very thankful that Jo is here. She does have the potential to change my life and to change my parenting and to change my children. Let's do it. So, Ben, come with me for a minute. Mommy, can I get me? When we were talking about the behavior, mm -hmm. and you saying to me, you know, I get really frustrated, I can get angry, I don't want to spank, mm -hmm. you will eliminate any behaviour that becomes frustrating, if you can start to look at what they are doing, OK, mm -hmm. instead of looking at what they're not doing. When you come to the table with positivity, your toddler children will want to show up and show you more. Look, Daddy, look what I can do. And I can do this, look. And I can do this as well. And I can do this. Mm -hmm. So today, you're going to remember, Anytime you see something, I want you there to sprout. A little bit of praise here, sprinkle a little bit of praise there, OK? Mm -hmm. Kids never want to disappoint their parents, and I think it's really important for parents to be descriptive when they're giving their kids praise, so that it gives them this measure of how well they're behaving, because they always want to show up and give you more. I'm so happy that you love oatmeal. Do you Daddy, like it? You think about me. See, all you have to do is try it. Daddy, I share with you. It's so yummy. How does that make you feel, Dad? I'm so Daddy, proud of you. I'm so happy Daddy, that you love oatmeal. Daddy, Give me a high five. Daddy, Daddy. Good job. Mum and Lily, let's go upstairs. 
fun. <laughs> Postpartum depression can leave a parent feeling very emotionally disconnected from their children. Because Lily's the eldest child, she's been a great support for mum in helping her with all the other children. However, Lily's missed out on having that solo time with her own mother, and that's a shame. OK, well, I got... <laughs> Do you know why this is important? Yes. Do you? Why? Tell Lily. Why is this important? Why is this important right now? I think it's important because I want... I, I want... Tell Lily. I want our relationship to stay strong. I don't want you to forget that you were my firstborn baby. <laughs> and I don't ever want to lose that relationship with you. Have fun, talk, and connect. Uh. Ma! <laughs> oh, look! Oh, look! <laughs> <laughs> you want me to paint your nails and put lipstick on? Yeah! Oh, God. Yeah. This is nice to see. I'm spending that. A little bit of quality time with Lily. Are you excited for school to start? Not really. Second grade's a little hard. You're so smart. Second grade's not that hard. Sure. Yeah. It's about recognizing that this mum has many children to look after. And it's not so much the amount of time that you have solo with each child, but the consistency of it. Since when do you grab my thumb? Hey, babe. What is the fish in a can? Hey, you OK? Are you OK? <laughs> Let me see, baby. Hold on. It's OK. What happened, Ben? <laughs> What happened? What happened? Guys, did any of you not see it? So what actually happened? She ran to jump on the couch. Yes. And she, I think, just ended up falling and hitting on that. Can I see your gorgeous face, please? It's definitely you know? going to need stitches. Yeah. It looks like it to me. If there's an accident, you really want to stay as composed as possible and calm. Because if your child's scared already, looking at you scared might make them feel even worse. Look at that. Climb on in, buckle in. I love you so much. You ready to go, honey? What's going to happen? She's just going to get her boo-boo fixed. Dr. Daddy knows what's right. Ben behaved calm, confident, and handled the situation with Blakely. Perfect. That was really important for Maria to see her husband is very capable and confident with the children. Oh, she's all stitched up. Little ah. Blakely. Poor baby, I can't wait to see her. Oh, Ben. Hey, babe. How many stitches did she have to get? But, Lily, I am in the middle of talking to your dad right now about your sister who is hurt. I love you. Bye. Lily, it is extremely rude of you, especially when I'm talking to your dad about something very serious, for you to come up and interrupt me. Come with me for a minute. So the way you spoke to her undid everything that you did with her this morning in the way that you delivered that conversation. Do you know that? No, I was just trying to hear how Blakely was doing. Do you remember how you spoke to her? Yeah, not very nicely. I was frustrated. You could have just done this. Can you just hold on a minute? Ben, can you just hold on a minute? Lily, I'll come and see you in a moment, OK, darling? I'll talk to you in a minute, but this is an important phone call. I think Maria, because of her postpartum depression, she just gets angry about something and then doesn't think afterwards. And I want her to start thinking before she talks. You want to go get Daddy and Blakely? Yeah. Let's all go together. Hi! Hi! Did it hurt? It did hurt. Was you brave today? Oh, come on, give me a cuddle. Was you brave? Was you brave? Yes, you was. You was. 
It was a big owie, wasn't it? Yeah. Morning, morning. So today what I want to look at is the routine so that we can actually start to run a tight ship. One to ten, how are you feeling? Ten, ready for the day. Really? You're feeling ten? Yeah. Good. Give me ten sit-ups then. No. I'm not joking. <laughs> Having a structured routine will give a lot of guidance for Maria as she has postpartum depression, but it will also help Ben when he's at home as well to follow the same routine. Children predominantly will run on a 12-hour body clock. Within 12 hours, they're done for the day. And when children are overtired, they don't eat, they're irritable, and you see more misbehaviour. So, what I'd like you to now do is think about a routine with Dad when he's here and without Dad. You're running a tight schedule here, OK? Because you have to with four kids. So, what time do the children need to leave to go to school? Seven is like the absolute latest. So 6 a.m. all up and dressed. So what time do you believe would be dinner now? Five. Yeah, spot on, Maria. When Tenley goes down for a nap, actually, Mum can do that as well. Or you're getting a few house chores done, you work it out between the pair of you. Okay. I am exhausted, so I am very excited to have a routine. I am all for this. I am 100% in. Oh, yeah. It's 11 o'clock right now. Mm -hmm. I want all kids dressed, teeth brushed, and down here by quarter past 11, OK? I know you can do it, because I know what you deal in an emergency. This is an emergency. <laughs> move, move, come on. <laughs> by quarter past 11, quarter past 11, <laughs> down here. Kids dressed, teeth brushed, all of them down here. Blakely, you have to go get dressed. Tenley's going to get dressed. Ben knows a lot about teamwork because he's in the military. I want him to bring that expertise home so that he can tag team with Maria and they can do well together. All right, Blakely, here's your shirt. We'll put it on just right so it doesn't hurt you. All right. I really like how she's putting Ben to work. He's kind of getting a glimpse of, like, my daily life. All right. You already did it. You have your turn Get, after daddy. Let go. After daddy, you have your you turn. You have your turn after me. Show me your teeth. Show me your teeth. There we go. Good, Good girl. girl. That's there it. There we go. Giving her the praise, the but the firmness. The praise, but the firmness. Those ones are perfect shoes. Pretty pink shoes. These are the shoes you're going to wear. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Right, so. Stand up. Stand so up. So stand up. Stand up. And just say stand to up. her. Just say to her, you can tantrum all you like, but they're the shoes that we're wearing. You can throw a tantrum all you want, but those are the shoes we're going to wear. No, look at her in her face. Look at me. Those are the shoes you're going to wear. You can throw a fit all you want. You can throw a tantrum all you want, but those are the shoes you're going to wear. Stand up. OK, so just Stand take... Up. We've got to go downstairs. And she's having a tantrum, but that's all right. She can have it downstairs when no one will give her the attention. So just pick her right. up, Go take downstairs. her downstairs. Get pick her up and take her downstairs and the baby. And then if she wants to carry on feeling upset about it, she can. She can own those feelings, but we just won't give her an audience. <laughs> If a child has a temper tantrum, it's OK, but if it's a mock one to get what they want, it's important that you don't give them that attention. You want to cry and scream? You can cry and scream on the couch all by yourself. OK, no attention. And if she wants to throw a tantrum because she can't get her own way, you don't lose it with her and get angry with her to try and control it. <laughs> and if she's upset because she wanted to wear a certain pair of shoes and she can't, she can feel that way. Just don't feed energy into the tantrum. Just ignore her. Okay. You ready to join us? You ready to join us? You ready to have fun? When you are, come and let us know, Tenley. Tenley's used to getting her own way, but old habits die hard. But if everybody's following my advice and techniques, they should start to feel confident pretty soon. Tenley, would you like to join Blakely and Lily doing some colouring? That was good. That was really good. That was good, I... Yeah. Thank you. That was really good. Well done. That was Thanks. really good. Thank you.
just learning new techniques is great. Stress relief for me, because I'm not yelling. There's no need for flying off the handle or anything. I'm really excited to move forward from here. Maria is struggling with postpartum depression. And as much as I can help with the practical skills she'll need at home, I am not a doctor. And that's why it's important to make sure that I can take her to her doctors to look at her medication. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Yeah, hey. Hi, pleased to meet you, Joe Frost. Hey. Pleasure. I you like are... your accent. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so you were thinking about wanting to stop Zoloft. Do you find that you're having difficulty sleeping? I could sleep all day, every day, if I was able to. Yeah. But I think that comes with having four little children as well. Well, it might or it might not. Do you have feelings of guilt, like you're a worthless mom? Don't you know? You feel like you I can't... did. I don't anymore. That, that, that's not true. You have spoken about feeling guilty and feeling bad about things like that, and I think it's so important that you're honest with yourself when you are with a medical professional. I feel like I, yeah, I do feel like I'm not doing good enough and I feel like that kind of thing, but I'm trying to compare it to how I felt before the medicine. Yeah. And it's like a complete 180. I don't want to have to be dependent. Basically, we could drop down to 25 and have you take that another month or so. And if we need to adjust the dose after that, we'll do that. Thanks for working with me. It was interesting going to the doctors with Maria because it gave him an opportunity to ask her more questions, which clearly showed that she needed to remain on the medication that she was on. So that was well worth going, wasn't it? Yeah. You looking for toddler tips? Yes, toddler tips. It's back by the orange one. Awesome. Thank you, thank, right, you. thank you, thank you. Thank you. Postpartum depression can lead to women feeling very isolated. So what I wanted to do was to give Maria just a gentle nudge and take her to the Phoenix City Library where they have a toddler story time and she could mingle with other mums and talk to them while the children were entertained with stories and playing with each other. So getting with the kids and letting them do their thing, but also I want you to be talking and just breaking conversation. You know, you just make the small little conversation. You can be sociable when you need to be. Go on, go over there. Baby step. You can get your hair done around here. I do. So um, I was going to another military wife, but she's going to Korea in October. Yes, that's, that's who did my hair. I love her. She's leaving? She's leaving in October. I need to message her like now. What gross were you guys at before? Fort Bragg. Okay. My husband was in Ranger Regiment, so okay. he was deploying like all the time. Yeah. So I'll text you before I leave, but I will be back too. See if you want to put your phone number in. I 100% believe that this was worth coming to, and I totally see why Joe brought me here. People have given you their numbers, so now just follow through. Hey, right. I mean, just get out with the kids. Obviously, you go go go, right? I'm excited. <laughs> that was great, Maria. Great. Thank you. You did really well. All right, I'm about to leave for a couple of days, but first, Ben, I have something I want to give to you. Superman entry. <laughs> Because you don't want me coming back kicking your butt, do you? No. Because you know I can kick good butt. I believe it. Right? <laughs> ben, you know that you need to th keep throwing out that praise. Be really mindful of how you're behaving with the kids. Maria, we all know that you have postpartum depression. You actually have routines set out and learn to be able to check in with each other as well. All right, it's about supporting each other. And I'd like to come back to be able to see exactly how it's gone for you. Can I give a quick hug? Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ben, yeah. done good as well. Appreciate it. Yeah, and I'll see you when you get back. I've put in predominantly what I felt was really important for this family, and I am going away for a couple of days. So, you know, I'm going to be looking in on some footage, and I'm rooting for the Corey family. I feel like I just survived boot camp. <laughs> I think she'll be happy with what she sees. I've been a 
away now from the Corey family for a couple of days, but still keeping an eye on how they've been doing. And some things I've seen I've really liked, and other things I know I've got to work on still with the family. Joe should be here any second. What do you think she's going to do? Because you know she's been watching us. Do you think she's going to come in and be like, I'm so proud of you, or? I can't help but like be a pessimist and just expect the worst. Hi. Good to see you. Good How's it been? You. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah? Been good. Been very good. Hey, hi. So what I'd like to do is to sit down and. Yeah. Uh, I'm eager to hear what you have to say. Look. OK, great. Who's excited? I'm Let's so nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. Take a look. Clear it up. Get back. Put it on there. Hey, two more and you're done. Two more and you can get up. Take two more bites. Two more bites. Why are you whining? Stop! Stop yelling. Stop yelling in the house. What's going on here, Ben? Stop yelling in the house. What's going on here, Ben? You are not getting up from the table until you take two bites from your food. That's one. Need that last one. Nice. That was a big bite. OK. Doing breakfast, that strain there is, is with Tenley right now. <laughs> what I really love, Ben, is that I saw you execute this very firm voice without going to a place where you were showing a loss of control. You started to yell, but you caught yourself. So that was a very good example of what I want you to continue doing. Right, we're going to take a look at you in the routine. <laughs> okay. We see you guys discussing the routine and Ben, you really supporting the fact that this is a moment where you are home where Maria can take that respite and just go and get some rest. And how was that for you? I mean, just that little break is like a game changer for parenting. Uh, power is power now. Like just the high, hanging that sign up has helped me a ton. What I would say is Maria just go upstairs and sleep. I, I need to. All right, so we're going to take a look at this. Have you called a friend that you met? Why don't you call her? Oh, God, this is cringeworthy. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Hey, it's Maria from the library. I was just calling because I wanted to see if you wanted to get together sometime soon. And maybe we can get lunch or something. All right, I'll talk to you later. Love Maria, up. you've done such a good job. I just think it's so important to be able to have that support. I think the family have done very well. But I know that once I leave, this is really going to be about them practicing the routine. And for the rest of the day, I am very aware that Dad is now going to be deployed for a couple of months. So I'd like to do something sweet with him to leave for the kids. Within several days of me leaving, you're deployed, you're back out. Yeah. And I thought what might be a really nice idea for the kids is to record something. You could do like a story, like a couple of stories before you leave so that the kids can hear that over and over again. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. All right, that's I'll close the door and leave you idea. quietly in here. All right. <laughs> Let's have some rest time right now. Lily wants to read us a story. I want to listen. Go ahead, Lily. A cat and a dog and a cat. You're doing great, Lily. Parents can get caught up in the madness during the week. And so something as simple as story time, where you can snuggle up with your child, not only helps you to connect with your children, but also will help them with their literacy skills. This is so cool. Read me a couple of lines, go on. Lily loves playing alone. After 10 minutes, she realizes she wishes someone could play with her, so she goes and finds Blakely. So they start to play hide and seek. Lily hides. Blakely cannot find her. 
daddy cannot find her. Now mommy, daddy, Tenley, and Taylor and Blakely are all trying to find Lily. <laughs> this is so sweet. Yeah. It's gonna be so wonderful. I've given the family the techniques that they need that will be very important for them once I've gone. Slowly but surely does it. So I am going to say goodbye to you all. We're going to be doing great now. Thank you. I hope so. Ben, pleasure. Thank you so be much. Be safe, yeah. Keep yourself safe and your troops safe and everyone, Thank yeah. This experience was awesome, honestly. Life changing. Thought it was going to be more for her, but it was definitely a lot for me as well. The positive reinforcement has been probably the biggest thing with me. I've acknowledged that spanking doesn't work. Taylor, can I have a kiss, please? You see it. <laughs> when it comes to my postpartum depression, Joe helped me immensely. Bye. Mm. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Thank you for staying open. She really showed me the importance of making friends. I'm feeling more confident, like, about with the girls, and, like, I know I'll be able to get the routine, like, real good while Ben's gone. I definitely want to make Joe proud. I feel like my life has changed forever in so many ways from this experience. It's really tough for any family when you're living with a medical condition called postpartum depression. And I do have to give it up for the Corey family because they were committed to learning the new skills and I really just wish them the best of luck. And I know that this family are committed and willing to succeed and muster forward. Next time on Super Nanny. JC, do not. Raylan, Aubrey. Four young children grieving for the loss of their biological father. Come on, do your room. There's a lot of hostility towards the stepfather. Sit down. Yes. Their behavior has just escalated. No! Hi. They both against me because I'm not their dad. Ralph, we just come in here with me. Spanking will never be an effective tool. You want to be in this marriage together?